YouTube family, welcome back. If you're new, I'm Devin on deck. I cover fashion and tech. And today, we're talking about how to properly style a hoodie. We're going over color, patterns, and logos, how to properly layer depending on your type of style, and stick around to the very end, because we're gonna do a little bit of comparison of the expensive versus the affordable, and I'm gonna share with you my personal hoodie collection. Ooh, I'm a pretty man. Ooh, that's that ugly style. Now, as far as colors and logos go, it really depends on what kind of guy you are. If you're more of a flashy streetwear guy, then you might really love to wear all over logos or a big Supreme on your chest. But if you wanna have a hoodie you can wear with everything, I would suggest going no prints, no logos, solid colors. And the amount of colors really just comes down to how much variety you like and what your budget is like. And for me personally, I really just have three color hoodies, a gray one, a navy blue one, and a black one, because it's really easy to layer and stack with different things. And while we're on the topic of layering, this is one of the reasons why hoodies are so awesome because they can be dressed up or dressed down. If you're more of a casual guy, throw in a hoodie with a bomber or a denim jacket or just wear it by itself. And if you're more of a dapper guy, throw it on with your favorite blazer or tailored trousers. And if you're more of a smart casual guy, kind of in between the street and the dapper, then throw it on with like a trench coat or like an overcoat and you look kind of not too dressed up and also not too casual. It's a beautiful balance. And if you want to look a little more edgy, a little more badass, throw it under your favorite leather jacket. You can either go biker or a mock neck, but either way, you're gonna look really cool really quickly. Now, as far as affordable hoodies go, you wanna go to the ASOS website, but you wanna do the ASOS brand only, okay? I put a link down below for you to take you straight there and narrow it down to their like least expensive hoodies. You can also go H&M, which I'll link below as well. If you want something a little bit more expensive but higher quality, you wanna go Zara or Topman. I got those links down there below for you too. But if you wanna go premium or high end, now we get to my collection, okay? Now, when I was younger, I used to get a whole bunch of different hoodies, different colors, and I would get the cheap ones. But the problem with that is that oftentimes they would stretch out or after I wash them they would shrink or they would get like the little pills on them you ever like have a sweatshirt that's like a cheaper sweatshirt and you rub your arms together and then between your arm and your side you get like these little balls that like raise up on the fabric those are called pills and when a garment is higher quality usually the fabric they use has better abrasion resistance which is another word for rubbing so that you don't get pills so if you want to avoid those things or shrinkage or you just want an overall better fit and a better feeling hoodie that you want to go higher end and my three hoodies that I own is one from Vince you probably see me wear this on my Instagram before I'm wearing it right now it's navy blue it has side zips on it I love side zips personally because it helps hide my belly because I've you know been gaining weight but I've had this hoodie for maybe I don't know two years now and it's been holding up great I wash it hang dry and it still fits exactly the same it's never shrunk doesn't really fade it fits perfectly now the two other hoodies I have are a solid black and a solid gray from John Elliott and this is called the villain hoodie and it's very similar to the one I have on with like the side zips except the pouch pocket in the front is actually on the underside of the hoodie very slick very minimal very streamlined but I'm gonna warn you right now it's $180 okay you might be able to find it on sale somewhere if I find anything on sale I will link it down below but I'm telling you right now I've had these hoodies since 2000 13. I've never kept hoodies longer than these hoodies. No tears, no rips, no pilling. They've never shrunk on me. These are the best hoodies I've ever had in my entire life. The point of spending a lot of money on something so you never have to replace it again. So if you have the budget, if you're tired of replacing hoodies, I strongly suggest John Elliott. Now as we wrap this up, I would love to hear from you. What's your favorite hoodie in this whole wide world? Leave it down in the comments. If you're not really a hoodie guy, did this video make you maybe consider becoming a hoodie guy? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give your guy a thumbs up. And if you haven't subbed yet, make sure you make that happen. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.